Hi, I'm Dave Mirish. I'm Robert Woods Workday Adaptive Planning Practice Leader. And today I'll be discussing an issue that a lot of us run into and may not even know it. And that issue is related to how we're linking accounts and displaying actuals back to GL accounts within our adaptive planning uh, solutions. For example, the issue is misleading in terms of how the wording is set up within the account structure itself. There's two options when linking an account to display actuals. Option one is enable actuals for link. Option two is show actuals if linked account has them. Now those two sound very similar to each other, which can lead to a lot of the confusion. It's actually a little misleading as well. As an implementer, if I want to display the actuals from the linked account, what I want to select of those two options is show actuals if linked account has them. Choosing that option will override the existing data in the account that I'm linking uh, into with the information from my modeled account that has the link in it, whether it be a model sheet or a cube sheet. Selecting the first option of enable actuals for link is when I want to display only the actuals that exist in that account, meaning only show planning data for the link. This way I can import data from my ERP or other source system for actuals and display a modeled data value from my link that is dynamically updating as I update my information throughout the models. For more information about this, please visit Gary Lieber's most recent blog post. For more information, feel free to reach out to rebel.com and we'll be happy to help you out with any additional questions you may have.